In this video, Quantum Architects will be conducting an analysis of glass as a load-bearing material in residential structures. The inspiration for this idea is derived from the Laminata House in Leerdam, Netherlands, where glass is used as a primary load-bearing material for the structure. The Laminata House was designed by Gerard Kruenberg and Paul van der Erf. It is situated in Leerdam, Netherlands. The design was created for a competition created in 1995 by a local housing association called Kuporningen CWL. The competition called for a house made substantially of glass to reflect Leerdam's reputation as the glass capital of Holland. In the spirit of maximalism, this all-glass house is in fact heavy and opaque. The house consists of 13,000 panes of glass glued together. Each pane is 3.2 meters by 6 meters with a thickness of 10 millimeters. These panes of glass were glued together to create two 20 meter long rectangular forms placed 6 meters apart from one another. This 6 meter by 20 meter gap in between contains the entrance, patio, and living room. Each interior space is separated by four panes of glass. The walls of the house vary in thickness from 10 centimeters to 170 centimeters. The 150 cubic meters of glass originally intended to be used was reduced to 80 cubic meters through eliminating the glass roof. In its place, a sloping wooden roof was used. The wooden roof slopes resting on a rubber cuff on the one side and extruded panes of glass on the other. The foundation of the house consists of a concrete slab and foundation box supported by 150 piles. The large number of piles, roughly 10 times more than required by the average home, were necessary to support the immense weight of the glass. The foundation allows for an outdoor courtyard in the center of the floor plan, which provides additional light to the interior spaces. The basement includes a garage, a storage area, and laundry room. Flexible silicone glue by General Electric was required in order to endure the prolonged exposure to sunlight without deteriorating and discoloring. The glue also had to form somewhat loose bonds to avoid rigidity that could easily destroy the panes of glass when expanding and contracting due to temperature changes. Frictional forces play a key role in the relationships between the panes of glass and the manner in which they evenly distribute the weight being supported. The thresholds unique to glass by means of tension, tensional and com Impressional forces determine the limitations of the use of the material. For our demo, we drew upon laminata and built two scaled models of the hallway in the house. One was single pane and the other was layered with five panes of glass. By doing so, we compared the number of bricks that each could hold to prove the structural strength of the latter model. Essentially, there are two main forces the force of the structure acting on the bricks and the force of the bricks acting on the structure. Standing on its own, the structure is at equilibrium, as all forces in the vertical are balanced and there is no motion. When each brick is added on, the downward force is increased. In this project, we had to try to make the bricks lie on the structure in the same horizontal position. By doing so, the distribution of the load is purely down towards the center. Theoretically, with every increase in the force down, the non-equilibrium state the system reaches will cause the structure to break, depending on the compressional strength of the material. Mathematically, we can see the imbalance of forces very clearly. Each brick has a mass of 2.27 kilograms, therefore the force acting downwards on the structure is 111.34 newtons. The structure has a mass of 0.73 kilograms and exerts 7.16 newtons up. As you can see, the force down is approximately 15 times stronger. This, however, is not the only reason for the collapse. The distribution of the load and the contact surface area also need to be taken into account. One major aspect of building science involves an understanding of how joints work. Essentially, our demo failed to hold up bricks mainly because of an oddly distributed load, thus causing the joints to give. Rarely do structures fall straight down from a heavy load. This concept can be seen when comparing the structural vertical strengths of a square and triangle. A triangle is much stronger than a square, hence its substantial use in architecture, because the angles between the edges are indefinitely fixed. Applying this to our demo, the single pane structure tips over to the left side to form a parallelogram before being crushed. Looking at the good model, the reason it was able to hold up the nine bricks is because of the fact that the angles in the joints are rigid and cannot be changed easily. 
In our analysis, we have learned that the differences in strength between laminated and non-laminated glass lie in the connection joints between two surfaces. Structural failure, more often than not, is due to a weakness in connection strength rather than in the individual materials. In the laminata house, strengthening occurs in the inability to change the perpendicular angle between surfaces through lamination.